For our new high school course where we teach computer science principles, Code.org has built a new tool called App Lab. It's a web-based programming tool that lets you build mobile apps super quickly and share it to your friends on their phones. App Lab has two main parts, design mode where I can build the layout of my app, and code mode where I can power the, my app with code either in blocks or JavaScript text. So I'm going to dive in and show you the different features of App Lab and what you can do with it. So here I've landed in code mode, but I'm actually going to switch over to design mode quickly. The app I'm going to build is an app that lets you pick your favorite pop star, whether it's Lady Gaga or Taylor Swift. So in design mode, I don't need to know HTML or CSS, and I can get going with my layout. I can also choose and upload my custom images and assets. So I've designed this background here that I can add to my app. And choose that. And then I can easily drag and drop uh, design elements into my app. So this is going to be my drop down where you can pick whether you like Lady Gaga or Taylor Swift better. And then I'm also going to have an image here where I show their face depending on what you've picked. So again, I can just easily upload some new images. So I'll start with Lady Gaga because that's what's chosen. And that's the basics of my app. So now I'm going to go over to code mode to power it. And what you're seeing here over in code mode is I've got these blocks arranged in different categories. And like a typical block-based programming environment, I can just drag these on. So this is the on event block. So when drop down one is changed, I want to change the face. So I can drag and drop this if else in. What's super neat is that I can transition over to text if it's easier to type. So now if the text of drop down one is Lady Gaga, then I want to change the images. Super neat thing is that I can actually drag these blocks straight into text mode here. So depending on what the user picks, I want to change the image. And I can seamlessly just transition back into code mode and say that I want image one to be Lady Gaga if she's chosen, and I want image one to be Taylor otherwise. I don't have my Taylor picture yet, so I can just add this quickly and choose her. And that's my basic app, and let's make sure it runs. So I pick Taylor Swift, she shows up, Lady Gaga, perfect. So I could share this app right now, and I would do that by clicking share up here, and I could text my friend the link. But I can make this app even more interesting. App Lab has built a lightweight persistent data service so that if I want to store data for my app, I can. So let's make this a bit more interesting and say that I actually want to send out this app to all my friends and make it a survey where they get to vote whether they like Lady Gaga or Taylor Swift better, and then I'm going to analyze the results. So to do that, I'm going to go back to design mode and I'm going to add a submit button so that after you've made your choice, you can submit it. And because I'm building a mobile app, I can easily add new screens. So I'm just going to make a very basic uh, thanks for voting screen. So I'm just going to change the background, add some text here, change some of the properties super easily. Just make this a bit bigger, and there. Okay, so now I want to make sure that I actually write to the database when the person hits submit. So similar to what I did for the drop down, I'm going to use the on event block, and when button one, which is my submit button, is clicked, I'm going to write to the database. So here's the data category, and I'm going to use the create record block. I'm going to make a new table called let's see, pop stars and I'm going to the name of the column is going to be name and then what do I want to actually send that same get text from the drop down so that'll either be Lady Gaga or Taylor Swift so I can just say get the text from drop down one and save it to the database in this format I want the column name to be name and that's it so and then when the record is done being created I want to switch to my thank you for your vote screen. So I can come down here in my UI controls 
and set the screen to screen two. So let's check this out. So go ahead and run. I'll pick Taylor Swift and hit submit. So I got the thanks for my vote. But I can't see yet whether uh, whether that actually stored successfully or not. But luckily I can take a peek at what is going on in the database. So I'm opening up my data here. Here's my table of pop stars and I can view that. And I can see that I've got one row for the Taylor Swift, uh, the Taylor Swift entry that I made. I could go back and run my app again and instead submit Lady Gaga and I can go back to my data, refresh that, and there's my second entry. So you can see how all these will accumulate in the same place and I can do any kind of analysis on that data that I want. So I've shown you around the different features of App Lab. Uh, we're really excited about it and it's getting incorporated into our computer science principles class and we hope you enjoy. Thanks.